confess that I cannot imagine how any human being in his proper senses can believe that the sun is stationary when, with his own eyes, he sees it revolving around the heavens, nor how he can believe that the earth on which he stands is whirling with the speed of lightning around the sun when he feels not the slightest motion. We've been taught that the moon has no light of its own, but is merely a reflector of the sun's light. That some masons from NASA actually walked on the moon. That some other masons from NASA sent rovers to Mars. That satellites and space stations are incessantly spinning in suspended animation above the Earth. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. We have been taught that a mysterious force called gravity. A magical magnetism responsible for keeping everything from falling or flying off the spinning ball earth is just strong enough to hold people, oceans, and the atmosphere tightly to the surface, but just weak enough to allow bugs, birds, and planes to take off with ease. at a constant velocity, perfectly dragging the atmosphere along so we cannot feel the slightest bit of motion, wind, or air resistance. They say we cannot feel any of this motion because the magical velcro of gravity pulls the atmosphere precisely along, and we cannot measure any of this motion because the stars are so incredibly far away. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. A sphere where people on the other side live with their feet above their heads. Masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale.